Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe. We are trying to hit 50,000 subscribers and let's get into it. So today we are going to talk about 5 missiles, basically do a list of 5 missiles that I think can be added right now, especially after the drag update. And they wouldn't be that OP, I think. Of course they would be a lot better than what we have right now. I don't think it would be too big of a deal, but... Yes, these missiles are very powerful, some of them. And yes, you would make it so that it's kind of a stretch in the mean, means of... I mean, these missiles are... Some of them are so good that it would m maybe be chaos in the middle of the map in the cluster balls, right? The cluster ball, the, the fur balls that we have. Cluster balls? What is a cluster ball, right? But anyway, uh, these missiles maybe add it later with more advanced aircraft remember the more advanced aircraft we have in game the more we need it we need missiles to actually defeat these advanced aircraft so the more we go into the future it easier it is to defeat missiles especially now with the more realistic drag that we have it will make these especially the ir missiles kind of feel outdated and we will probably see some sort of a form of update uh, regarding these missiles uh, in a soonish future. Um, first of all, uh, we need to just reiterate that there are two countries that are kind of limited on the types of missiles that I'm going to talk about, and that is France and Sweden. They both basically don't have anything else to be added. Uh, the Magic 2 might be receiving, if this happens, um, better IRCCM maybe or something like that. But the performance of it is basically that, 35Gs. It is one of the best missiles in the game already, right? And it would be kind of similar, maybe with just a better IRCCM in the future with that. Um, and of course, Sweden kind of doesn't have anything unless he receives an F-16 from Norway or something crazy like that. Then maybe he would receive some of the missiles that we're going to talk about. But other than that, there are the two nations that are going to lack a little bit behind, okay? Uh, but let's get into it. First of all, the only radar guided missile that we're going to talk about and I already did a video talking about this missile and yeah, Dane 7P, right? It is basically the objective of this missile would be to fix the problems with BVR in the NATO aircraft. Uh, so yeah, having a data link, uh, making it be able to fire from further away than just the 45 kilometers max range of Dane 7M, right? Uh, so it would be just better on that. Uh, it would basically turn the same and have the same energy, but better it, electronics and stuff would mean that it would track a little bit better. Uh, and it might have INS. It's hard to actually confirm this, but it, it, it might have the inertial navigation system. That would mean that this barrel would be a lot more reliable to actually use. Uh, it would still be lacking compared to the R27ER, but it would be a little bit of an improvement that uh, it would be kind of... I mean, it is basically the same missile, the M7M, but it would not self-explode too much because of the INS. And if he has uh, a data link, he would be, be able to be fired from like 50 kilometers more easily, right? Or even if you're flying higher and faster, maybe 60 kilometers, right? But it would be kind of a hard shot to do. But still, it would mean that uh, it, is, it would bring the tables a little bit more together in the sense of BVR for NATO countries, right? Uh, it can be added, for, obviously, for the F-16 ADF for the US, I think, uh, because it is an ADF, uh, the ADF, basically, it's a 90s aircraft, right? So, yeah, these missiles uh, were made in the l very late 80s, early 90s. And, but in theory, maybe for balancing purposes, it can be added for other countries as well. Uh, the Chinese MLU and the Thailand's ADF Chinese. I mean, uh, tech China China's tech tree, right? Don't don't think too much about it. And yeah, um, the ADF never used that in Italy, for example. But it might be able to. So if it is able to, maybe they add it for balancing purposes. The same goes for the MLU. We probably did never use this missile, but still. Uh, I don't think any P's were actually sold, but still, uh, it would be a good option for these two countries to have that. And obviously for other countries as well, uh, if they need a, a little bit of 
balancing, right? Uh, for example, Israel, if it receives a new F-16, it can use this missile, uh, maybe, you know, uh, because in theory it can, right? So why not? Uh, but this is kind of a stretch for balancing purposes if the BVR gets too bad, right? Against the uh, R-27ER, which is basically the top dog right now, right? Then we go for the second one, the third one, fourth one, and final one, which are all IR missiles, uh, dogfighting IR missiles. These missiles, if added, will cover basically every single nation for something to be added for every single nation. So first of all, Germany and USSR. Obviously, the R-73, the initial variant from the early 80s. It is an amazing missile. Normal G rate would be around 40 G. So yeah, it's a very good missile. It was already introduced in the dev server, one dev server, uh, the patch before this last one. Uh, and they said that they are going to test it out and basically do the right coding before it's added. So it might be added fairly soonish, I think. Um, so yeah, 40 G. In theory, it can get to 50 G depending on the situation, depending on how much air is, is there, if it's low enough and if it's actually fast enough. It might do more than 40 Gs uh, because it has a trust vectoring system. Uh, it uses a trust vectoring with little pedals instead of an actual nozzle, but it would be the first missile to actually have a trust vectoring uh, in this type of aircraft, in this type of missile for this objective. Obviously, we already have the SRAM and whatever, but then, I mean, we cannot compare an R-73 with ISRAM, right? Or even the missiles on man pads, for example. They have IR at the uh, trust vectoring, but it's not the same as an R-73, right? Uh, for air fixed wing aircraft or a normal missile that entering in production, long range, normal range, you know, like, not like the SRAM, the IR-73 would be the first one to have that. And it would be very, very amazing, especially with the HMS, the helmet mounted sight, with a 45 degree off-bore shooting. Uh, it would be a very dangerous missile from a very close distance and very high angles in a dogfight. So yeah, of course you would have a proper IRCCM, not just the limited IRCCM that we have in the R60M. And it would be probably the best IR short range missile in the game. I mean, it's difficult not to avoid this name. It, together with the HMS, it's really difficult to actually beat this missile. And for Germany, of course, the R73E being the exported ver version of the R73, right? So, USSR and Germany would receive that. Then we go for some of the NATO members or allies for the um, Americans. The A9M, so the mic would be just an evolution of the A9L. Uh, this is the third one. Uh, it is basically the same missile, but with some improvements. So, it has less smoke, it uses a, sm a smokeless engine. So, it would be harder to actually see the missile flying around. It would have a better IRSCCM, you know better guidance so yeah it would be better everything in that sense around the same g okay it would be around 30 g until later variants of it uh so yeah 30 g's and then later 35 it won't go much higher than that there are just few reports that say that one particular version or two might use a version that can do close to 40 but i never was able to actually confirm this the majority of the sources say 35 g's in the later versions of the m so the m m8 for example uh onwards uh in the 90s right so yeah it is a missile that it's going to be less capable in the turning capabilities uh but i guess he could have a little bit of range the thing is that the r73 still has more burn time and more thrust than the m9 m so just due to the fact that it turns better the r73 might lose a lot more energy and then because of that the 9 m probably will have more range but it won't be that much of a difference uh, but still if the r73 is added the 9 m needs to be added even in the later models of course it can be added for most countries in the game the us uk for the tornado adv no confirmation that the tornado actually used that but i think it did um, but if it didn't well oh well uh, the chinese with the mlu of course and the Italians with the ADF. The Tornado ADV with the M might not even be a thing because it's a lower BR, but still. Chinese with the MLU, yeah, obviously they use that missile. And the Italians with the AD ADF as well, I think they use that missile. So that goes with the US. The UK maybe, but depends on the BR, depends on other things. China and Italy 
and then Germany and USSR with the R-73. And then we go for the fourth one, the Python 3, an Israeli missile that can do 40 Gs as well. A very, very good missile. Um, in theory, it has less range than an R-73 and A9M, but uh, turning 40 Gs, it, it's pretty amazing. Uh, maybe with the acceleration, yeah, it would be a very, very good missile. Uh, probably a little bit less maneuverable than the R-73, but not by much. Uh, it is still a very light missile, and, you know, with the short burn time, it should be okay. Uh, IRCCM as well, you know, way better than the 9L that they used before this. Uh, okay range, as I said, probably inferior to the 9M and to the R-73, but still an amazing missile, and can be added as the PL-8 for the Chinese as, as well. So, there is the J-70 and the J-8B that actually used that, air that missile, but... Those are 11.0 aircraft that I don't think they will add it for. But with the addition of better versions of the J-8, like the Foxtrot or the Hotel versions, or even the J-10, I don't know if the Sukhois of the Chinese Tech 3 would carry the Python 3, but still, it is a missile that can be added technically for the Chinese as well, you know? And then the last missile, um, the AAM-3. Uh, sources claim also 40G, you know? Um, you know, 90s IR missile from Japan, nothing too major to talk about here. Uh, it is fairly significantly better than the A9L and basically will only be used by Japan. Uh, might be able to be used on the EJKI probably, but mainly in future aircraft like the F-15J, the F-2A, right? It would be the main missile for those aircraft. Um, maybe the AJ could receive it because it is kind of stretch, but the aircraft itself, it's a stretch of being existing in the game. So why not, right? If all of the F-16s and MiG-29s are receiving better missiles, the AM-34 and AJ would be all right to be added. Uh, supposed to be a lot better than the A9L, but it is hard to find information on it. And the range of it, it's a bit of a mystery as well. Uh, they, some sources see like seven kilometers, but they don't say where or when or in what condition so yeah um, these are five missiles that i think will be added very very soon uh, fairly soon i would say around this year i don't know about the m7p i mean it would take it's kind of a stretch but still i think it it's kind of deserving right uh, but the other ir missiles i mean the python 3 is already in the files of the game right uh, day 9M, I think one file was found at some point, but it was a long time ago, so I don't remember, so don't take my word for it. Um, and the R-73 was, I mean, it was in the dev server, right? So, yeah, these missiles are probably going to be added fairly soon. We just don't know if it's going to be added right now, or if they're going to be added, like, in the, right now, in the sense of, with the aircraft that we have right now, or we will need to see the new generation of aircraft or better aircraft in the sense of F-15s, SU-27s, aircraft like that. Uh, the, the, then we will would see these, uh, these missiles, right? But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. Let me know in the comments what missile would you think that it's the best to be added. And yeah, guys, I see you guys in the next one and bye.